the five minute artist boot camp number four tips for artists to get better at their art by dora Chauré. the butterfly effect the butterfly effect is a theory that originated with a scientist named johann gottlieb fitchi in the vocation of man back in 1800 he says that you could not remove a single grain of sand from its place without thereby changing something throughout all the parts of the immeasurable whole. This is from Wikipedia. It means that you can't change something without causing change elsewhere. The theory was examined by other scientists primarily in relation to the weather over the following years and into recent times. The Butterfly Effect Theory. Ray Bradbury, the author, in his fiction book, A Sound of Thunder, in 1952, wrote short stories about time travel. And this whole concept was investigated by E.N. Lorenz, a mathematician, in a mathematical model for how tiny motions in the atmosphere scale up to affect larger systems. People have loved this idea and have let their imaginations run wild. For example, can the flapping of wings of a bird in Canada affect the weather in Texas? The theory became known as the butterfly effect. The butterfly has become more of a metaphor for small gestures affecting change. Will recycling at your own house affect the environment? Will walking more and using the car less affect the air quality over time? Recent applications of this theory has been in relation to people and their behavior. If you do a kindness to someone today, will it affect tomorrow? This is much debated, and this whole theory is, has been labeled as pay it forward, a new concept. Be nice now because it will affect your future. Do you believe this? Opinions vary, but I tend to agree with the butterfly effect. For example, imagine you are stuck in traffic. You're in the right lane and this lane has to merge to the left because there's construction on the side of the road. You wait patiently for the car on the left to let you in. Not a single car lets you in for about 10 minutes. How do you feel? Will you go home and tell this story with a twist on how people are so unkind? Imagine, your kids will hear this and pick it up. The world is unkind. This is a stretch, but not that big of a stretch. Another scenario shows you waiting in line to merge, but you only have to wait one minute or so. The driver lets you in, smiles and waves. How do you feel? You go home and tell this story. Your kids pick up the message that people are nice and helpful. They get nice and helpful. Your world is looking better and so is theirs. Applying the theory to your art practice. These examples point out small, everyday events lead and affect not only you, but everyone around you. Imagine the effects happening to hundreds of people and changing attitudes. Am I exaggerating? No, I don't think so. Change starts with you. How can you apply this to your art practice? According to Fitchi, dynamics, even small ones, can affect long-term change. What long-term change do you want? Do you want to earn more money? Do you want more painting time? Do you want your reputation as an art instructor to grow? Step one. First, you decide what you really want. Write down three items you really want for your art practice. Make four columns for each item. Column one is what you want to do. For example, do you want to have more shows for your work? Under column two is where you want to show. Column three is the date they take proposals. 
Column four is when you get the application form and fill it out. Making columns like this leads you to take action that will lead you to achieving your goal. This is your butterfly effect. The small action of making a series of columns listing your goals is like the small butterfly wings making enough wind to eventually create a tornado down the line. Your small actions towards your goal will lead you showing in galleries that you want down the line. Start your own effect. Belief in yourself is essential, but more important than that, is the willingness to take action. No matter how good you are as an artist, if you never pick up a brush or show your work to anyone, nothing will happen. You will never be known as an artist if you do not start with actions that lead to others knowing about you. Action speaks louder than words. Are you willing to bat your wings like a butterfly? That is the question. If the answer is yes, you will achieve great results. But it will take time. Persistence is also the key to success. Consistently flapping your wings will lead you to achieve your goals. Are you willing to try? Conclusion Look for my course Starting an Art Business or any other courses I have on udemy.com or look for my work at www.dorischarest.ca. Thank you for listening and we'll see you in the next section.